I challenge you to pray. But when you pray, pray with authority. Your authority comes from who? Not from the church. Not from Steve. Not from me. Not from the denomination. Your authority comes from who? From Jesus Christ. So when you pray, pray with authority. You know what my biggest pet peeves? You see Christians who are intimidated to pray. Seeing Christians who are scared to pray. It's like they're being challenged. It's like, do I have to pray? I don't want to pray. Why do you act so intimidated? Why do you act so scared? You should be bold. You should be courageous. Why? Because you have the authority to pray. Where does your authority come from? Your authority comes from Jesus Christ. And what did Jesus Christ give you? He gives you the Holy Spirit. And it's through the Holy Spirit that will empower you to do what? To pray. So when the next time somebody asks you, who wants to pray? I guess I'll pray. So lack of assurance. Like I'm so scared. I'm so intimidated. No, when you pray, you pray with what? Authority. Why? Because you have the power. God, amen. We don't need to play that thumbs up game. My biggest pet peeve is uh, thumbs up games give you authority to pray. No, it's Jesus Christ, amen. Pray with authority. Here's another challenge study the Word of God with authority. When you read the Bible, read it knowing that you have the Holy Spirit living within you and the Holy Spirit will give you the ability to read and to interpret the Word of God. God empowers spiritual leaders to do what? Write commentaries where you can study from, right? So when you read, when you study the Word of God, read it with authority. One of my biggest pet peeves with believers is what? I can't read the Bible. It's just so hard. I can't, I can't. I don't understand it. Why you lack faith, believers? Why do you lack faith, Christians? God has given you authority to read His Word. He gives you Bible scholars to write commentaries. He giving you the church to train you how to read the word of God. Basic hermeneutics is not a challenge. Here at Gospel Mobile Baptist Church, one of our um, one of our values to train you to read the word of God. Right? If you don't know how to read the Word of God, come to me. I will teach you how to read the Word of God. So don't get intimidated when you're at home, when you're trying to do your devotion. I don't do my devotions. I just don't understand it. I can't read the Bible. That is a lack of faith, church. You're saying that you have no power to read the Word of God. But as believers, we can read the God, Word of God confidently, right? Because we have the authority of Jesus Christ. Here's another one. Here's another challenge. Church, when you serve, serve with what? Authority. One of my biggest pet peeves. I don't want to serve. I'm so scared. People might look at me and judge me. Who cares? We're not here to please people. I'm not here to please people. We're not up here to say, I haven't been playing the piano in forever. I haven't, this is the last time I, I sang a special song. It's been a while. I messed up. I kind of sang a little too loud. Who cares? I'm not singing for you. Who am I singing for? God. So when you're up here doing announcements, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't just lay down and talk to people. No, I want you to go. I call tag people and says, you know what? I'm up here with what? With a amen to that? Because my authority comes from whom? From Jesus Christ. So when it's your turn to lead life group, I'm scared. 
I don't know how to do it. You have the authority to study the Word of God, and you have the authority to do what? To lead. Amen to that church? You have the authority to serve. So when it's time for you to serve in the councils, as a council, don't be discouraged. Don't be intimidated. Because that's what Satan wants. He wants you to be scared. Because that's the best way to discourage you from serving God. Because if you're scared, he won. Don't be scared, church. Don't be intimidated. Because that's what Satan was. What happened to Peter and John? They were surrounded by seven, over 70 people, 71 religious leaders. They were being questioned. They were being interrogated. They were trying, they were being intimidated. But did Peter shrink? No, he stands bold with courageous. He says, it was you guys. 71 of you guys did what? You guys murdered Jesus. It was you guys that crucified Jesus. Man, that's some guts, right? Was Peter intimidated? No, he was bold. It was you. It was you. <laughs> Peter, that's why he's the rock. It was you. So when you serve, I will serve confidently. Why? Because my authority comes from comes from Jesus Christ. Here's another one. When you proclaim the gospel, you proclaim with what? With authority. Don't be scared. Don't be intimidated. Don't talk yourself out of it. I'll just do it next time. I'll just do it when the time is right. You just lost. But when you proclaim the gospel, you proclaim it with authority. You say, I'm going to talk to that person right now. When the God, God gives you the gospel opportunity to have gospel conversations, what am I going to do? I'm going to talk about Jesus Christ. I'm not going to talk about how he's just a good person. No, I'm going to talk about who he is. He is God. And as God and man, what did he do? He died on the cross for you and I and our sins. But he didn't stay dead. What happened? God resurrected Jesus. And now he is what? He is our cornerstone. That's why I go to church. Because my faith is in the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. Amen to that church. It's not in the pastor's. It's not my denomination. It's not a religion in itself. The good works. No, my faith is in Jesus Christ. So when the next time somebody asks you, why do you go to church? I go to church because of Jesus Christ. Proclaim the gospel with authority. Don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Don't be pumped. Don't be pumped. Satan will try to pump you. Your friends, your families, or unbelievers will try to pump you. Even other believers will try to pump you from not being obedient to God. Do not be intimidated, church. But when you proclaim the gospel, when you have a gospel conversation, you have it with authority. Why? Because your authority comes from Jesus Christ. Through his word, amen. We have gospel conversation. You have gospel invitations. You invite people with to church with authority. Dum dum, you know, what are you doing? You, you know, you got no plans, you know. Uh we have free time. You just uh you come? No, you be a, you be firm about it. It's Sunday. It's a Sabbath day. We go to church. You want to come with me? Jim. What did I say to you, Jim? Um, come to church, right? Yeah. Come to church. I'm glad to see you here at church, Jim. Did I be around the bush? What did I just say? To come to church. <laughs> uh, don't be around the bush, church. Just be straightforward. 
Do it with authority. Why? Because one of my favorite verses is what? For I am not ashamed of the gospel. We have authority. Why? Because of the gospel. We have authority. Why? Because of Jesus Christ. And because of Jesus Christ, I am not ashamed. Why? For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. Amen to that church? Don't get punked. The world will punk you. Satan will try to punk you. You know, I knock me down, right? I'm going to do it. Why? My authority doesn't come through my strength. My authority doesn't come from the church. My authority comes from God. Amen. Where can I find this authority? Through His Word. Let's pray. 